Chapter 4 The Saving of Professor Trashbin. <laughs> uh, this ought to be interesting. Link goes to. Row, row, row your boat. <laughs> Link row. Chapter he rows. For, for a new chapter and stuff. This Malikler. I don't own Harry Potter and stuff, nor do I own the Zegend of Lead. I of mean, it's not really clever. Lena we know you're doing it on purpose, author. And stuff. Nor do I own Harry Potter or the Legend of Zelda. Don't you understand that I don't own these things? That I make zero dollars from putting them online? You shall rue your pity in thinking that foolish, that you, f that you foolish idiots. Uh, also, nobody thinks you make money off this. <laughs> also, to everyone who faved and reviewed my sub, my subscribed, thank you, you all awesome, smart geniuses who appreciate. <laughs> Good literature. Nad, everyone who needs this is too. Okay. Right. Now it is time the chapter four comes. Oh my. It, it is coming along fantastically. <laughs> <laughs> I have just to write it. But when you read this, it will have came because it was written by then, but not now, as I'm writing it, but as you are reading it, it will have already been written because you wouldn't be able to read it otherwise. By my brain, it's like going into infinity and seeing infinity inside infinity. And now they was in history class and Professor Trashman was floating around being boring. So boring that Link was sleeping. Suddenly Link woke up, so he wasn't sleeping anymore. Duh. Link had gotten sick of uh, Professor Trashbin's being boring, so Link pulled out a windy uppity thingy and declared a crazy plan. I hope this works. Link declared crazily penalty because that's what you declare when you're about to do a crazy plan. And then he stuck the windy uppity thingy on uh, Professor, uh, Professor Trashbin's back and wound it up widely and Professorly and Professory Trashbin stopped being boring and was filled with immense um, energy, and he bounced around the room like a daffy duck, which I don't know. So you did something to your teacher with a, a vague thing that you didn't really decide to flesh out. You just shoved it in there so you could have something to do for this chapter, and it does a thing like filling your teacher full of cracks so he's bouncing off walls. And here we go. So there was all this goblins uh, uh, when a fifty years ago God decided uh, to uh, rebel with uh, rebel rebel can cause because the ministry likes to uh, extend so a slave to the uh, peoples uh, and Santa Cruz to the so the, the global goblin um, rebels uh, rebelled and uh, tried to kill the ministry and and that was the uh, global okay. goblin rebellions. Uh, Professor Tr uh, Trashbin was really uh, fast because he was en uh, energeticalized, but then he passed out and had to be winged to a hospital, even though he's a guest who can't die because he's already dead. Then how could you fill him with energy? Like, what? What was it a battery pack? Did, are you, like, secretly a Ghostbuster? And you had, like, a, a battery nearby so it could suck the battery dry? I'm confused. How did you stick it to him if he's a ghost? He goes through things. And then there was also astrology. I don't know if I can make astronomy interesting 
but I'll try to, uh, but I'll try so link and the, uh, and the other stupidants went to atrociously at night. And that, and they used their wizard telescopes to teleport to space and dance with the stars, like Kali Kuko. Whoever that is. Yep. But Kali Kuko was kind of a bitch. So Link told her so by saying, Kali Kuko, you are kind of a bitch. And Kali Kuko said, How dare you? I shall now kick every male man in the balls, uh, said Kali Kuko, and ran off to do, to do that, but she was a star and couldn't get out of the sky, so she wouldn't. So no, she didn't. A, a, and I don't own <coughs> Kelly Kuko. Uh. A and. <laughs> author's note. Oh. So, I'm assuming this is a real person that is famous. I have no idea who that is, by the way. Uh, but suddenly she's there just because Link made they made a reference to it. Also, I don't think that's how uh, astrology works in the wizarding world. I don't think they beam you up into the sky to hang out in the stars. Just saying. Also, yeah. please stop repeating stuff. If you if you think somebody if you, somebody famous is a bitch, you can just leave it at that. They don't have to magically be in your story and actually be called a bitch. So just because they're famous doesn't mean they're a star in the sky and can't leave. They still live on Earth, you know, because they're real people. Then they all went to bed and woke up the next day. And there was a Quidditch game where Harry was playing uh, Quidditch against the, Slyther the Slytherins. Slytherings. Professor Slytherings. Professor Squirrel was magicking Harry's broom crappy. And Snipe, a Snape was trying to decrapify decrapificate it. So Link got mad and leapt into the sky with the force of a thousand leaps and shouted like mad, Professor Squirrel, you have betrayed your inner soul by worshipping Voldemort, who in your noggin a turbine and shall be destroyed. How do you know this? <laughs> and Link sent forth a giant uh, he, he, no, uh, he no Tama? He no Tama. Japanese for fireball because all gratuitous Japanese for no reason and stuff and such is fun. That burnt Professor Squirrel to a crisp. I just want to stop and say I'm pretty sure by 2019. Nobody was randomly inserting Japanese into their fix anymore. That's probably been dated for about 12 plus years at this point. Continue. Unfortunately, Professor Squirrels had cast clone last week in case he died <laughs> and came back to his secret office so, so the plot would go on. I don't know if... There's a doppelganger spell, and if there was, I don't think... Well, no, I guess... Because Voldemort put himself in the book, so I guess... Quirrell could have done something similar, but actually have it walk around and stuff. I don't know. My, I, I Again, I don't know a whole lot about Harry Potter. I just know the little bit I've read... The little bit I've read and taken from fan fiction. Which by no means makes me knowledgeable in anything Harry Potter. But he did have to be winged to a hospital just in case. His body or his doppelganger? Uh, it doesn't specify. <laughs> I guess uh, the the original? <laughs> no, I guess if Lucius still has to serve out his Azkaban sentence, even though he's dead. And then was Broom driving class. Modern Pooch told him to up their brooms. Up! Everyone shouted to their brooms like mad. The brooms didn't listen except for the ones that did 
and the ones that did flew into the hands, but not the ones that didn't listen because the brooms that didn't listen just sat, laid there on the ground like lazy ass brooms they were. Um, you don't have to over describe what's going on. We get it the first time you say it. Now, everyone, you have to push off the ground with your fight with your fight root. If you push off the ground with your left foot, naturally Link uh, uh, stopped listening when he realized these were the rules and instructions of the f false lie world. And he didn't need to listen to them uh, because he was truest soul. Oh, sorry. He was the truest soul and only people who weren't the truest soul had to follow the rules, and in the uh, in Stushtrans of the false lie world, because their souls had awakened to the truth of the truest soul that walks around truthing in every soul, but when it's but only when it's awake. So it has to be awakened, and then you can do anything like Link because he's the truest soul. But only if you become the truest soul too. So wait, he can only be a true soul that can basically be God. But it only works if I am also God. And that means Norm and Mewies, you guys have to be gods too. So when the Ghostbusters show up, you can fuck over the Ghostbusters. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Suddenly, a helicopter flew over Hogwarts. Why? And that doesn't make any sense. Why would a helicopter show up at Hogwarts? But then it realized he had something important to do, so it left because it's a muggy contraption. Or contraception. <laughs> I felt like... I'm, uh... I felt like I'm out of classes. So, but it was... Xmas holidays now, so they were looking for in rum fashion on Nickelodeon flannel. Flannel on orange flannel from Nickelodeon. How do they know what Nickelodeon is? They're they're at Wizarding School. The inventor of the uh, philosopher's stone. Oh, that guy. So they're. I guess he's a Nickelodeon show now. Yes. I have found it. Nickelodeon flannel, flannel was some guy who made himself a Morkyu, um, Immortel, by inventing the phosphorus stone. Dumbledore is the, is his bestest best friend, Link shouted, drawing Madame Pinch uh, the Liberane, uh, to him who tried to come over and pinch him for shouting. But her hand broke on Link's invisible, truest soul force field, and she had to be winged to a hospital. Maybe it's a bit much to break someone's hand for trying to pinch you, for, you know, being a dick. Link felt bad guilty for a second, but ultimately had to remind himself that it was her own fault for trying to punch him because it was. She didn't try to punch you, she tried to pinch you, and how was she supposed to know you have a magic force field around you that can break your hand if you barely scrape somebody's backside? The Link came all the way to uh, Gryffindor Tower and went to his bed. And that's for chapter four.